In studio tonight, we are lucky enough to have a Dr. Rudolph Richame from Hospital Lumiere in Haiti. And you are normally a family practice doctor, but because of the earthquake, you've had to do a lot of orthopedic surgery. Please tell us about what is going on in Haiti now. Well, basically, uh, uh, in Haiti, is still same uh, level of devastation and same needs, same lacks of everything. Because it is a nation that is facing three major problems, poor leadership, poor gospelship, and poor sponsorship. That means that, you know, it's the important, like if you are in Haiti as to be a leader of uh, 10 million people that are starving, then well, you don't want to be in that position as Preval, the president of Haiti, is facing. And basically, Port-au-Prince had 3.5 million of people. And then with the earthquake, we've lost uh, about 300, over 300,000 of people. And then still a million of people with no home. And then in the facility where I work, we've been treating over 1,000 uh, earthquake victims, working 16-hour shifts and also performing 12 to 15 surgeries day and night. So you have to keep up doing that, and it's been happening for four months. And, and you've been having to care for people with very little financial support in many cases, correct? Well, tell many us about of that. the patients would come with nothing. And then uh, we've, we haven't charged any earthquake victims, and basically it's been very helpful to have support from the United States with over 30 30 orthopedic surgeons that have been down there and performing over 350 surgeries. Wow. And, and that's one of the reasons you're here, is to coordinate with, with hospitals and with, with missions so that, you know, you can tell us what's going on. Well, basically, I'm like an ambassador for yes. the country. And, um, like, uh, every time I travel to the States, it's great to see all the infrastructures. Where in Haiti, we don't have much than hope. And basically, at the hospital where I work, it was closing down because I worked there a whole year. And uh, we, I, uh, the old employee staff got two months of payroll <laughs> salary. So basically, the hospital was going to close down until the earthquake hit. Then a whole process of helping teams, like we've had more than 15 teams to come to the facility. Wonderful. And it's been very helpful to have these supporters. Well, we know you've been speaking in the Toledo area, and uh, I'm sure you've been able to reach a lot of people. We, we appreciate you taking time to talk with us about your work, and you're doing fantastic work. I hope it eventually gets easier for you. Well, thank you, Laura, because uh, the Missions International of America, directing by Jane Nelson, has been a great support. They bring a lot of funding to our society, like in January, but the four four thousand dollars and uh, it's been very uh, helpful. So that's a, a local hands. connection that's for people to be able to get money and yes, help to but pay. I've been visiting over 10 different states and recently in June went to University of Hartford and give some talks and went to Charleston give some talks in the South Carolina Orthopedic Association and it's been very helpful to well, have those connections. Thank you so much, Dr. Rudolph Richemay. Well, thank you. The nation of America might be blessed, and we love you so much. Haiti is in need of everything. Well, I hope we can continue to help. Thank, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. That is tonight's Talk Back.